All right, Julie, are you ready? All right. Yay! Good morning, everybody. So this is a very, this is a simple craft. And as I was setting up this morning, I realized I, I oversimplified as far as what you need. So if I'll give everyone a couple minutes if you're going to do this live with us. Um, it's better if you have um, a clipboard or some uh, um, tape and a binder clip. So if you want to run and get that so you can do that with me, or if you're going to do this later, you can do that. Um, so if you want to grab a, a couple extra things. So what I like to do is um, hold my yarn down with a clip, a binder clip, and then um, also with um, some sort of, um, I don't know, I, I, ha I just grabbed this this morning. So... Oh, a magnet or like yeah. a jib clip type thing that could work too honestly i grabbed this quickly because all my binder clips were upstairs I was like, that's oh, perfect yes. so um we have this very simple fishtail bracelet and uh, this is extremely easy to make you can make them in a variety of colors you can just keep on making them over and over again and if i am finishing the um under the allotted time, I made this quickly this morning so I can show you a, another friendship bracelet. Oh, that's so perfect. Made. That looks so cool. Uh, and tomorrow's uh, bracelet's more complicated, but I have another uh, bracelet to add to that. So I had had set aside this week for jewelry making, and, and I, I hope not to disappoint. I love it. And this is great because this is a, I'm just thinking about all these things. These are great ways, things that you can make for your friends so that when you get to go back to school, you can exchange it all. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine the fun swaps happening. Exactly. And we have time inside and keep your, your hands and fingers busy. Yes. So um, collect your stuff. Uh, I think a binder clip or tape, whichever you have, um, available. Grab that as I'm setting up and we can get going from there. Okay, Liz? Yeah, sounds great. Okay. All right, I'm going to hide Julie for a second. She always, she likes to flip the camera, <laughs> make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. So um, guys and gals and everybody else, <laughs> thanks so much for joining us again this morning. We've got a, a nice crowd. Make sure to leave a comment so that we know that you're here and also um, share this with your friends so that everybody can make friendship bracelets. They're swapping. So many fun colors. And uh, if you, if you want to give anybody a shout out, let me know and I'll put it up on the screen for you. So you can just leave it in the comment box and I'll, I'll see it over on our side thing here. Just let me know when you're ready, Julie. That was nice and quick. All right. Here we go. Back on the screen. Okay. So today, if you have a variety of colors, I have out right now um, the two that I made as examples. Um, I have one that I made with a variegated yarn. So I have this yarn. So it already switches the colors for me which made it life very simple. And then I had this, I have this other example where I selected um, one, two, three, four, five different colors. So again, it depends on how many colors you have available. Um, and we can, can go from there. So with what I'm going to just for ease of showing you, um, I'll do a different color, just show you these. I'm going to use, I'll use this purpley color. Um, I'm gonna just use my, my, to measure, everyone always worries about the measurement. I'm just gonna use my arm span, okay? So if you know what I mean, I'm gonna hold on to this end and then my wing span, meaning I'm gonna do the length to reaching my hands all the way out wide. I'm going to take that length. 
fingertip to fingertip, right? Fingertip to fingertip, which would be about your height. Yeah, that's um, right. And and make that cut, right? So this is the length I'm going. I have. So everyone is a different height, but this will give you uh, about the yarn length that you will need. We're going to do. Let's work with five pieces. So do that five times, please. Well, you we really don't even need to do it five times. You just take this measurement with your first and make the cut four more times. Right. And, and the vocabulary for the word, uh, the, the vocabulary word for the day is variegated because you said it earlier and then you gave the <laughs> definition. But just for in case anybody doesn't know, that means when the colors change on one piece of string versus having multiple strings together, like she mentioned in the beginning. So variegated is just the name of that style where it's one piece of string with multiple colors um, throughout it. I love that word. I, I do too. <laughs> it's a fun <laughs> word to say. <laughs> All right, so I am on my fourth string. I like that list. We should have a word of the day too. <laughs> right? Just a craft word to things that you didn't know. And uh, just, and you actually mentioned something I was going to bring up too. Here's your science fact that yes. the tip of your finger to the tip of your finger is also the, your height. Yes. I, I loved that fact when I learned it. I just thought it was so fascinating. <laughs> yeah. I think all, we've, we found with each craft day, we've had science facts. We've had yeah, I try. vocabulary. We're, 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 <laughs> We're working this. Okay, so once you have your five pieces, get them lined up, and we're going to fold them in half. Once you find your half point, we're going to make our buttonhole. So it's just going to be an overhand knot. I start a little bit bigger just because it's easier. Make sure you got all the loops through. And then take it down to a, a pretty small size because we're not going to make that large of a loop uh, knot at the end. I also imagine talking about measurements, the um, that if you're measuring fingertip to fingertip and you're smaller, you're going to make a smaller bracelet because your wrist is smaller. So I'm sure that there's some proportional measurement there too. <laughs> it, it works out. It works out very well. I was about to throw in another thing. Did you know that your foot, um, the size of your foot is from here to the inside of your elbow. I did hear that sometime, and I totally forgot it. Thank you for reminding me of that <laughs> fun science fact. I, love I stuff know, I was like, like that. should I throw that in? I think that's very neat. It's 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 incredible that your body is measured out that way. All right, now for those of you that have a clipboard, it's such a a wonderful tool um, for bracelet making. I like to hold it under the clip. If not, I would just tape it down to a surface that doesn't harm, isn't harmed with tape. Now, here we want to split our pieces up. I'm going to match, since my, since my yarn is variegated, we're, it really won't matter what colors, but I'm going to try and separate them by color. I have one that's off, so we'll just put these together. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I have five strings over here. Two, three, four, five, and five strings over here. One, two, three, four, five. Liz, are you crafting with us today or are you just... I, I 
was running a little bit late, so I didn't grab my yarn. So I'm just watching, but I, okay. I will be doing this later. Um, I had to clean no, the no, guinea pig no cage. Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. I was just, I was just use it, going to use you as a, as a barometer to see if I was going too fast. <laughs> oh no, no, no! You're perfect. This is great. Okay. I'm, uh, it, somebody else leave a comment if you think it's too fast. I think it's perfect. It's a nice pace. <clears throat> okay. So here is the simple, simple steps that we will use. Now keeping your, your strings in order, you're gonna be surprised at how easy this is. And maybe people who do hair won't be surprised. You're gonna take your outside strings and take them into the center, outside and cross. So here's your first cross. And you're gonna take the next layer And cross over. So you're still keeping them in the same order. Yes. <clears throat> it's important that you keep them in the same order. But, and you continue, if you want it to look symmetrical, you keep the right, I'm right-handed, so I always cross my right over before my left. So right, and then left. Then you can tighten it up just a little bit. You don't want to lose your colors. And right. That's interesting. It's it's like almost. I mean, I keep thinking of braiding, of course, but <clears throat> a ten piece braid. <laughs> yeah, it's a. I mean, it's a it's a fish tail braid. Um. So. I admit I don't do hair. My hair, I've cut my hair short. I used to have it long, but I never, I could never braid it myself. So it's so interesting seeing it this way. And I've always wanted to uh, learn different braiding techniques. So uh, now I understand the fishtail a little better. Yes, it's, it's quite interesting how it, you know, and then, you know, picking up more would be completely different, but um, it works so well. And if you just pull it a little bit tighter, I mean, if you tighten it a lot, it'll have you know, not this nice, um, you have a loose pattern or you can pull it really taut. Um, and based upon the materials that you use, if you're using a thinner yarn, you're gonna have a different look. I think with all of our, our crafts, based upon the material that you're using, it's gonna have a different look. That's what's fun. Started off with very muted colors. So have a muted look until we get to our, our burgundies and greens up here. Um, what's the, I mean, I want to say jewel tone, but I'm not that, <laughs> I'm not that much of a, into fashion either. So I ne don't necessarily understand. I mean, it's funny cause I know art, but, um, <clears throat> almost consider these muted jewel tones. Is that right? I would, yeah, I would say, I don't, I see them as autumn, like they're just autumn colors. Right oh here. yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. I love the, um, I love when people include like blues and purples because those are the subtle, the very subtle yeah. colors of fall. And he, up here, here comes the blue. Yes, and the so blue pretty. And the green. So it will be, will be pretty coming up. So here's the first. I mean, and you just continue on with this very simple pattern, and slowly just you know make sure you keep the same tension. So that I just, consistency is it's extremely important. And once you reach the desired length. You will have a beautiful fishtail bracelet. You know, I realize that I'm, I usually make my comments geared toward, I, I, I switch between kids and adults. And um, I, earlier I said you could switch these with your friends when you go back to school. But, you know, your, the, your friend at the office needs a bracelet, too. When well, you, when I mean, you... <laughs> not really, I mean, it's not, <laughs> it's so cute. It's perfect. Like, I just totally imagine everyone going back to work and being like, oh my God, office wife, I missed you so much. Yeah. <laughs> and and you, I mean, you can make it to any size. That's the great thing with the button and the length. So figure out what length you want. Um, and at the end, I'll show you right here. All you do is squeeze together and then another overhand knot, and I just did a, a double knot. And oh, that will create that will create the button. 
it goes through. So for the button, you're just taking this end through and then it keeps secure. So you really could make this a lot longer and make it into like a, a decorative collar. I just totally see Charlie wearing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or a tassel for a book bag. Oh yeah. Or, um, a, you know, a hanging for, it could be the rainbow project, you know, the oh, yeah. no rainbow hunt. You could make this a window hanging. Um, so many options. I don't know if the, I, let's see, time check. I can, do I have time to show? Oh yeah. You, you have, a, yeah, there's about 10 more minutes. Okay. Well, I can see a headband that. too. I know we, yesterday we talked about it being a necklace or a headband. Yes. So this can go so many other directions. So let me, um, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, let me, here's another color. Is there other materials okay. that you, you think that it could be made out of that might be nice? Absolutely. You can make this out of, um, if you have twine, if you have mm -hmm. other strings, if you have, um, like, uh, non-yarn materials, but I mean, like I have, um, we have hemp. Oh so, yeah. So thinner materials would, would be beautiful for bracelets and even thicker if you wanted to do a wall hanging. So let me show you the other design, which I already. I remember in high school, um, I will say that was in the 2000s, um, <laughs> or late, late 90s, early 2000s. Hemp, I know hemp has always been the rage, but I remember everybody making hemp bracelets of every kind and necklaces and all that. Yeah, so that's a, another fun, fun thing to use. So you can't really go wrong. And it's just a good time to be creating right now. Is how that's I'm right. Doing. All right, so the next design, we'll, working on this now will build you up for tomorrow's project. So let's. Oh, I like this. Tomorrow's a step two almost. Yes, tomorrow's a step two. Um, so will we, we, will, will we, I can't talk this morning. Will we be working with the same types of materials? Like should we, if you're yes. going to join us tomorrow, maybe you could have your pre-cut yarn. Is that right? Um, no, sure. I mean, you don't okay. need to, yes, yeah. but have yarn. And I did not say, please, okay. uh, have, um, a clipboard and, and, um, definitely and have a clip so i don't think i posted that yet so my mistake will no add worries we'll add it yes i will add that today so the next technique and i'm just going to show this technique all right um just get about 24 inches of yarn in three different colors and this is one to best to do with me we're going to tie an overhand knot. And leave about, if you want to wear it one, a three inch tail. I'm going to show you a, a quick square knot. So the light pink is going to be my, my standing leg. I'm going to clip that down. And the pink and the green are going to be my working legs, working threads. So I'm going to start off with my pink. I'm going to make a trying to think I can't say because I know I'm upside down for everybody. <laughs> it's an upside down four. An upside down four. I'm going to cross it over my standing leg. I go under, up, and through. And gently bring this knot up. Okay. And do the opposite with the green. Go under, up, and through. Bring that knot up. Pull at the same tension so you get the same size knot. And repeat. 
make it so. Reverse four. And you're up. I remember doing this a lot as a kid with um, embroidery floss. Mm -hmm. But I never, I never alternated the colors like this necessarily. That this is going to be interesting. It creates such it creates a beautiful pattern. So make sure you have the same tension. All right, I'm going to go a little bit faster so you can see the outcome. This <laughs> makes a wonderful friendship bracelet. Yeah, this is the same way that they do. Um, you mentioned hair earlier. This is the same way that they put the embroidery floss on the on your hair when you're at like a theme park, when you go to like oh, Hershey right? Park or something. Yeah, they just so your 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 hair is the as you called it's it standing, a standing leg. Yeah, and then they just wrap the embroidery. They just knot it around like this. Oh, I've never had that done. I oh, I used to do hair. it to myself again when. <laughs> Jen Jenny says, "I love making these bracelets. <laughs> Aren't they fun? I love it's such it's it's actually a stress relief for me. Yes. So, um, oh, I do love the way that it that you're alternating. That's so pretty. I can see that it. Nice. And just use a, a contrasting, a complementary color, or um, but make sure you have like um, just the same tension." Now these, I mean, you could just make all day long. <laughs> Your friends will love them. Absolutely. Okay. Jenny says she still has all her embroidery floss and hemp still. <laughs> perfect. So that's embroidery floss is perfect. Um, you can make those really thin ones, and I can even show you how to make. Uh, well, the plan for tomorrow today is to make... I don't know, maybe Charlie ate them. I have them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here they are. So tomorrow's yeah. plan, she'll, she'll recognize these. Ooh, yes. This is the plan for tomorrow. I love these because they just get so detailed, but they're so... Um, they're so simple. They to keep make. your hands busy. I want to say mindless, but that's not true because you, you do have to kind of keep track of what you're doing. Yes. And the, the variations, and once you get um, more advanced, you can put patterns within it. So, Oh, my gosh. So I can't fun. wait to learn that. Yes, this is so fun. I love doing these and do little hearts, and you can do letters in them. So, um, but, so you know, we've got to start somewhere. I think these, these two patterns are a wonderful way to start, and the variety that you have. Yeah, and this is, again, another great gift for someone, maybe Mother's Day or um, something like that in the spring, a fun birthday present someone can make. Yes, and you know what? Do together with your kids if they say they're bored. Oh, yeah. Here's some, here's some yarn. Here's some embroidery floss. <laughs> and the, the sky's the limit with what you can create. It doesn't take a lot of gathering of materials, and it doesn't take a lot of... Uh, craft space <laughs> no you can you can create lots of things so everyone get to work <laughs> all right thank you so much everybody for joining us thank you <clears throat> yeah leave your comments and if you're watching this back leave a comment too so we that we know that you're still watching these and it's a great i'm glad you taught us this first step so that we can have it on hand for tomorrow so i'll make sure to share it and i will get these up on youtube i didn't get yesterday's done yet but i will get both of these up on youtube shortly so you can re-watch them you can still watch them on facebook too but share okay. them with your friends and look you've done your art assignment for today <laughs> yeah. Excellent. And, oh and you can save this for your coffee break this afternoon when you need when you need one so hopefully right. we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, have a wonderful uh, day, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Bye, everyone. Take care.